of managing anger. Before I start the topic of anger tomorrow, because in this lecture of how to become a side chick and a baby mama, is it a difficult task? Know the tidbits, the rudiments, the things to do, so you become a good side chick and a forever loving and caring baby mama. You need first to know how you react when you are angry. So angry, as we all know, is an emotion characterized by an antagonistic reaction towards someone or something, you know, when we say we are antagonized or antagonism, um, like it's an emotion that drives you as a result of a scene. It's, it's like you are feeling that somebody has deliberately done something to you which is wrong. So that is it. That's anger. But anger naturally has two ways. So anger is a two-edged sword. So Bible says, be angry and sin not. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26. It says, be angry. And sin not. Let the sun not go down on your wrath. So the Bible is using two different words. Here the motivation barrier. Hmm. If you see me YouTube because it's food for thought. Yeah, did you hear a Share a page. So wrath and anger. Wrath and anger. What is the difference between wrath and anger? Is there a difference between wrath and anger? Because most of us might not really understand what I'm saying. An intense emotional aggravation with an antagonistic mentality. Somebody has done something against me. That is the emotion become unbearable. But anger is in two forms. It is either a good tool or a bad tool. The reason why I'm doing this is anger. I've explained. And as the Bible says, be angry. And sin not. Not but sin not. No. Be careful when you're reading Bible. He says, be angry. It's a command. Olivia, be angry. Kojo, be angry. Amina, be angry. Be angry, you watching me. Be angry. <laughs> it's serious, eh? You got Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. It says, be angry. Number two. And sin 
not. It means that anger is a necessity in the state of every normal human being. But what you need is to control the anger. So I ask you, what do you do when you are angry? This is my motivation. By this, it continues to say, don't just live not to sin. Don't allow the sun to go down upon your wrath. What is wrath? So there's difference between wrath and anger. So when one is angry, the likelihood of the sun going down upon their wrath is there. Wrath is the reaction of an anger for revenge. Hey, this definition is not anywhere. Evelyn, are you there? <laughs> So anytime somebody is exhibiting signs of wrath, W-R-A-T-H, wrath. It says, don't let the sun go uh, upon your wrath. The wrath and anger are not the same. But the intense vengeance mentality of anger is wrath. So when people are angry and they want to retaliate, it becomes wrath. <laughs> so, for a woman to break a bottle and slash the face of a baby mama, she was angry and wanted to, re you know, she, she came there angry. She got angry. And she was allowing the sun to go down on the anger, which is wrath. So wrath is the result of an angry person. And I say anger is in two forms. It could be a good one or a bad one. Because the rhetorical effect of anger is the issue we have to learn how to deal with vengeance teach him a lesson because you are angry no anger lasts for long every anger has a limitation and a stop point so if your anger can go beyond the rays of the sun then it is no more anger but wrath. And that wrath would generate into murder. Premeditated murder. Vengeance, which is for the Lord. Then you take it in your hands. This is how come you can take a wine glass, break it to slash the face of a fellow woman. How do you behave when you are angry? What do you do when you are angry? My friend, hear me. The result of your anger should either be for a positive change or an everlasting remembrance of vengeance. Has the sun gone down on your anger? Now let me go quickly to why this is my motivation. I want to motivate you to revisit what you do when you are angry and see if you are managing your anger or you are dealing with your anger. Anger has two ways. It is either good or bad. The one who is angry 
must manage his or her anger. And the one who is supposedly being the one creating the anger must learn to, must learn to, hear it, must learn to deal with the angry person. So the angry person will manage his or her anger and whoever is the one who is the presbyter, the cause of the anger, will rather deal with the angry person. And in dealing with the angry person, because you might not be angry, and there's nothing wrong with you, thank you very much, Evelyn, the likelihood of you finding more anger so that the sun will go down on the wrath, which is the escalation and the metamorphosis and the growing of anger to wrath to become vengeance. So wrath is the vengeance of the senior brother or the birth order of anger. So you cannot have wrath until you start from anger. But as anger starts, it has black and white keys. So no anger comes only with white keys. Every anger comes with black and white keys. So it is up and down. For you to have thoughts. So it says, be angry, Evelyn. Be angry. Be angry. Be angry. But as you are getting angry, sin not. Today, anger is in two ways. It's either good or bad. How do you, or what do you do when you're angry? Majority of people that came to write today, apart from two people who said, it depends on the situation, the time, and the particular issue. They have justified something. I'm not treating anger. Our topic is, is it difficult to be a side chick and a baby mama? That's a question. Because I'm going to give you tidbits on how to manage yourself as a 